What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix's new reality series, The Marcus Family Rules. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Netflix for granting me the screener to the entire six episodes of this new show. Okay, if you're asking me who the hell is DeMarcus, let me give you a hint. What hurts the most was being so close and having so much to say. Watching you walk away. Still need another hint? Okay, here's their famous cover or their famous rendition of Marcus Hummond's timeless classic. Every long lost dream led me to where you are. God bless the broken road that led me straight to you. Fine, fine, I'll tell ya. DeMarcus is J. DeMarcus the bassist slash vocalist slash pianist slash songwriter of the iconic country pop band Rascal Flatts, which has officially split up since early this year because each of the members wants to focus on their personal lives now after touring together for more than 21 years. Little did I know that part of Jay's post-Rascal Flatts retirement plan is doing this whole reality show about him and his family in the great state of Tennessee. So, you've seen the Osbournes, you've seen the Kardashians, and now Netflix is bringing you the DeMarcus Family Rules. Executive produced and show run by Scott Teddy and produced by Maverick TV, Rascal Flatts' Jay DeMarcus and his beauty queen wife Allison are a Nashville power couple living the glamorous life. Jay is part of the most awarded vocal group in country music history with over 27 million album sales and 33 top 10 singles. And Allison is a Triple Crown Beauty pageant winner and the co-executive director of the Miss Tennessee pageant. But things aren't always quite so successful at home. One look at this family and it's natural to immediately feel envy or be jealous a bit. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. To be fair, Jay has been rocking it in the music business since he was young. The same goes for Allison and her pageantry life. So they do earn every chandelier in that place that looks like Bruce Wayne's backup mansion. Of course, with such immense wealth, you don't have just first world problems. You have rich people's problems. On one of the episodes about Jay and Allison's daughter's birthday, they ordered in dozens of cakes, countless glitters, countless gifts, a candy-shaped castle, every sugar-sweet thing that you can think of. They got it just for that party. I mean, man, you can catch diabetes just by staring at them. And on another episode, Jay prefers going on his newly bought motorbike instead of the big-ass RV with his family. Let me put it this way. I think this show would entertain audiences who are A, Rascal Flatts fans, and B, people who are easily wowed by the one percenters. Because all of these episodes, they just keep bombarding you in the face with, here are all the things that we have that you don't have. As far as the family relationship comedy slash drama that's going on here, I gotta admit that it does have its quirky moments when the kids say the darnest things, or when Allison tries to be the grown-up, while Jay plays the boys will be boys card. With reality shows like this, you would think that everything happens organically, right? Well, the Marcus Family Rules is the perfect example that 
it's not as unscripted as you think it is. Especially some of the smart-ass comments coming from Jay's kids. Somebody must have fed them those lines. Boy, if I talk to my old man the way they do when I was their age, I would have been grounded till the cows come home. And each episode revolves around certain occasions like award ceremony, or Thanksgiving, or Christmas, or birthdays. So it's obvious that they are very much rehearsed because there are expected reactions that the show needs for the camera to capture. This show does take pride in its southern country roots as its charm and appeal with their drawl and their pickup trucks and their little bell traditions. But once the novelty wears off, once the yelling starts, and once those spoiled brats start disrespecting their dad again, all of a sudden it becomes all too familiar. It's just like any other reality series that you've come across before. Is there a valuable lesson that you can take away from shows like The Osbournes, The Kardashians, or The DeMarcus Family Rules? Probably not. Because to say that those families are just like any other regular family would be an insult to common sense. So it really doesn't get any deeper than superficial entertainment. If DeMarcus's next door rich neighbor creates their own reality show as well, we'd probably get more or less the same damn thing. 